Hello, a very good morning to all of you, dear parents and students. My name is Nahid Afshan, and I head the Department of Admissions at Bits Pilani, Dubai. And I have here with me today, Dr. Anand Kumar, our HOD for the Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department, and Mr. Amsal Muni, who is our placement head for Bits Pilani, Dubai campus. You're connected live with the international campus of Bits Pilani, Dubai today. The most notable feature of this campus is not only its uh, quality education, which matches in rigor and pedagogy to our parent campus in Pilani, but also its strategic location in Dubai, which gives the edge to all our students and the most sought after global experience. 15 batches have graduated from this campus in Dubai and they're doing extremely, extremely well both professionally as well as academically. I know most of you have already received your grade 12 results now and also have cracked your JWE and other entrance examinations. So now it's the time for you all to take the most important decision about your higher education. And I'm sure by now you would have realized that this is the most significant one because it goes a long way in shaping your life as well as career. So we at Bits Pilani Dubai decided to present a little information about what we are all about, what programs we offer, what is the admission modality, so that all you aspiring engineers who are looking for some global exposure can explore this possibility of getting admitted into this campus. What we'll be doing right now is presenting before you a brief history and all the details about the programs. I and my colleagues will be sharing this presentation, which would take a maximum of about 25 to 30 minutes, post which you can ask us whatever questions you have and clarify all your doubts with regard to our programs as well as admission modality. I welcome you once again to this webinar and let me commence our presentation. We are trying to share the presentation slides with you. I hope you'll be able to do that. Uh, let me begin. I'll begin with a brief history of Bits Pilani. Can we have the slides, please? Bits Pilani is set up by the Birla Group. Our founder chairman, Dr. G.D. Birla, he started off with separate colleges for engineering, pharmacy, science, uh, way back in the 1940s. We consolidated all of this into one single institute called Birla Institute of Technology and Science in the year 1964. This was done with support of MIT Boston and the same year we got the deemed university status. Then under the leadership of Dr. K.K. Birla, the first international branch campus of Bitspilani came into existence in Dubai in the year 2000. The Goa campus was set up in 2004 and the Hyderabad campus came up in 2008. So currently we have four campuses, three in India and one in Dubai. These are the facades of all our four campuses. Now coming to the leadership, Bits Pilani is headed by Dr. Kumar Mangalam Birla as the chancellor for all our four campuses. He's also the chairman of the Aditya Birla group. Our vice chancellor is Dr. Savik Bhattacharya. And each campus have their own directors. Dr. R.N. Saha heads the Bitspilani Dubai campus. Uh, he has taken over as the director in 2014. Prior to this, Dr. Saha was with the Pilani campus and has more than 25 years of experience there before he was deputed as the director of Dubai campus. Now for the ranking of Bitspilani, I'm sure most of you have already, are already aware of this, but I would like to tell you that Bitspilani is ranked among the top technological university in most of the media rankings which have come out, uh, be it the India Today, The Week, Education World. Uh, in most of these uh, media, Bitspilani has been ranked on the top among technological universities. We are also ranked on the top in several global rankings. QS University Rankings Asia have ranked us in the top 200 universities. QS University Rankings BRICS has ranked Bitspilani among the top 100 universities. Under the Times Higher Education Rankings 2019, we are ranked among the top 300 universities. 
So these are the rankings of Bits Pilani. We are also granted the status of Institute of Eminence, which happened last year, wherein Bits Pilani was ranked as, or as an Institute of Eminence by the Ministry of HRD Government of India. And we are, only, we are among the only two existing private institutes to have been conferred with this status. Now coming to Dubai. Uh, Bits Pilani decided to set up a campus in Dubai mainly to cater to the requirements of the NRIs here. So also the other communities who live in Dubai. As you must already be aware, Dubai is a multicultural city with over 200 nationalities. The local population is only close to 10% and 90% of the Dubai's population comprises of expatriates from different parts of the world. And Indians are the majority here. International, it's an international business and education hub. And what is Dubai known mainly for these days? It's that it's a virtually crime-free city with safety and security as its priority. So this is one aspect which attracts many parents to send their children here. And that is exactly why 40% of our student population are students from India who are coming and studying here. It's a strategic base for top global companies uh, Dubai, the government of Dubai is very liberal. It's a tax-free uh, country. Recently, only VAT has been introduced, but we don't have any tax on income. And that's exactly why several international companies have set up their base here. We have high quality standard of living um, and very good state-of-the-art infrastructure. It's a perfect launch pad for a successful career. And as you may already be knowing, Dubai has already been chosen to host the prestigious Expo 2020 also next year. Bitspilani Dubai is the first offshore campus of any reputed university from India to have set up in Dubai. We are pioneers in offering engineering education in this country and we set up in 2000 as I already mentioned to you. So we are starting our 20th admission this year. We are the largest private university to have its own campus in DIAC and we are permitted by the Knowledge and Human Development Authority Government of Dubai to operate from this region. A little bit on our student profile. Currently, we have about 1,500 students on rolls, out of which 65% of our students are from Gulf countries comprising of UAE, Oman, Bahrain, uh, Saudi Arabia, etc. And 40%, nearly 35 to 40%, are from other countries, again, mainly from India, followed by other Eastern and African countries. But 95% of our student population are Indians by nationality. Why Bits Pilani? These may be some of the very important factors which may help you take a decision. Topmost among that is, of course, the world-class curriculum we offer. Here, I would like to tell you that the curriculum which is offered across our four campuses is exactly identical. So it's not only the curriculum, the teaching methodology, examinations, evaluations, and finally, the degree a student receives in all our four campuses, be it Pilani, Dubai, Goa, Hyderabad, is exactly identical. Only the transcript will mention the name of the campus. So it would say Bits Pilani has conducted this program in its, say, Hyderabad campus, Dubai campus, Pilani campus. So only a transcript would carry that information, but the degree is exactly identical for all our four campuses. We have very good faculty. Most of them are PhD degree holders from leading universities worldwide and have an average experience of over 15 years. You could get to see the profiles of our faculty on our website. So under the departments, we have listed out the different faculty for each department. And I would request you to kindly go and have a look at the profiles of our faculty, their qualification, their experience, their research interests, before you decide on which discipline you would like to take, which institute you would like to choose. We give a lot of emphasis on all-round development. For some reason, Bitspilani has always been known for its academic excellence. But I would like to tell you that we're also equally giving our students an opportunity for extracurricular and co-curricular activities because we truly believe that this contributes to the overall development of a student. We offer excellent placement support. Every campus of Bitspilani has a separate placement cell, which is, of course, uh, centrally coordinated by our placement officer 
and we offer excellent placement support to all our students. More about placements will be spoken by our placement head who will be uh, speaking soon. Uh, we offer industry internship, uh, which is within the program curriculum. So every student gets to have an internship of seven and a half months within the four years. This is one very unique feature of Bitspilani, which you will not find in any other university in India or abroad, wherein a student actually gets to work in a company for seven and a half months. More information on this would be provided by Professor Anand. Um, we offer state-of-the-art infrastructure. Our campus is spread over 15 acres, and we have hostels within the campus. Uh, we offer competitive fees and scholarships, the details of which I would cover towards the end of this presentation. Now, I would like to request Dr. Anand Kumar to briefly run through the program details. Thank you. We offer a bachelor's program in mechanical, chemical, civil, electrical, electronics, computer science, biotechnology, and electronics and communication. Uh, we also have a master's programs in microelectronics, design, software systems, electrical with specialization in power electronics and drives. Um, we also offer MBA programs in two streams, and we have a doctorate, a doctor of philosophy program offered as well. Uh, yeah, please, next slide. Here, this gives us the overall structure of your four-year program. Um, all the uh, programs, the, uh, the undergraduate programs, the BE programs would have a common first year uh, where you do foundation courses, both in the first semester as well as in the second semester. Um, then subsequently in the third and fourth semesters, which would be a second year of study at uh, Bitspilani, uh, you would have uh, discipline cor uh, uh, courses as well as humanities electives and open electives. Some of the electives options uh, make our uh, curriculum, uh, the, student make, the, the curriculum make our students well-rounded in their capability, which now I had just spoken about before. Subsequent to that, at the end of the two years of study, and in the summer of that uh, summer, you have a practice school one program, which is an internship program, which is credit bearing. It is eight uh, weeks long during the summer, where the student actually gets an exposure to the industry goes daily to the industry in a structured fashion. A faculty monitors his progress, and he is also under the supervision of the company employee. Uh, so that's eight weeks out there. And then in the th third year, which is fifth and sixth semesters, uh, you again have further uh, core courses and electives, which are taken by the student. Uh, here, you have a lot, of, a lot more emphasis on advanced uh, the core courses. And um, then you come to the final year, seventh and eighth semesters, uh, what you have is there, uh, the, in one of the semesters, uh, the student will spend uh, in doing a thesis, or, which is about four and a half months long, or he would do a practice school, which is again an internship, which is a semester, a little longer than a semester long. Um, so you have the um, half a summer, plus uh, you have the entire semester, which is devoted to this practice school too. So practice school two is a little longer than the thesis option. So some students might be interested in going for the industry route, in which case they will take back to school. Some may be interested in going for a master's and do a little more research, in which case they would take a thesis option. So, but then uh, half the students would go in the first semester and half the sem students would go in the second semester of the final year of study. So we have uh, tie-ups with over uh, 300 companies in the UAE. This is part of the practice school program, as we saw in the previous slide. Uh, we have PS1 and PS2, which together is the seven and a half months, which Nahid was talking about. Um, so the, these companies, the, we have formal tie-ups with, with these companies in the UAE, in India, and other countries, which include top-notch companies like Honeywell, LNT, Yokogawa, uh, Tyson Group, Emerson, and uh, Petrofac, and other companies. Next. The thesis option is again, uh, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, tie-ups with leading organizations and universities, including Semiconductor Lab, um, Aachen University in Germany, MIT in the USA, IITs uh, in Delhi, Mumbai and Kanpur, Microsoft and Dubai. So we have uh, tie-ups with a whole host of companies where students are doing, have done in the past uh, off-campus thesis. And uh, our, uh, we do not just give theory to the students, 
but we have a very strong uh, number of good labs, excellent labs, uh, where students can get hands-on experience of the theory that they learn in the classroom. And then we also have a very strong uh, library for, for support where over 20, uh, 21,000 volumes and 4,000 electronic books are available where students can refer and supplement and complement their education in the classroom. Uh, this uh, telepresence facility is an outstanding facility that we have, which actually integrates the four campuses and even beyond that. Uh, and uh, this is a telepresence facility for just one second. Just telepresence. the first one. Yeah. So here, if you see the, uh, if you see this, uh, you can have the the faculty, the 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 deans, the heads of departments, the directors. They can all inter interact together and uh, almost near live experience. I would say probably live experience where they can interact with each other, discuss matters, discuss curriculum, discuss research, and the faculty typically use this uh, telepresence conference room. But students also have the, uh, have the, uh, have, are able to participate in the telepresence system where faculty, for example, in Goa campus can teach subjects to uh, students in Dubai campus as well as to the other Indian campuses. So one faculty and one campus can teach courses uh, to all the campuses. So that, and if you notice carefully, you'll find a microphone there. So each student uh, can actually speak in and ask questions uh, during the course of the lecture. And in fact, you will find also that, um, that uh, when they speak, which is not evident in this picture, the camera zooms in on the person who's asking the question so that the faculty can see the person who's asking and then respond appropriately. And so it's, we have full-time faculty on every campus, but this provides an element to offer additional courses, additional electives, which is beneficial to the students. And uh, we have excellent hostel facilities and all our hostel rooms are single occupancy rooms. And we have an excellent gymnasium in the, um, in the academic block, but all in the sports complex. But also we have gymnasium facilities in the uh, hostels. Uh, we have outdoor sports, including uh, basketball and volleyball and other courts we have. And indoor, we have uh, the badminton courts, we have table tennis tables. And so we have students can participate in extracurricular activities as well. Uh, we have the creative lab, which was set up a, a few years back. It, the main primary purpose of this creative lab is to uh, pro provide the students who want to think creatively and kind of try out ideas and, and experiment with ideas. And, and we have even startup companies which are using, they started up while they were students in the third and fourth year, and then they are now currently, they are, uh, they are using this uh, facility to support their startups. We have a mini mart where you can get snacks and other items and the canteen, which is in addition to the mess, which is available on the hostel campuses, hostel facilities. And uh, first of all, I welcome you all today. Uh, talking about the career opportunities in uh, Bits Pilani Dubai campus, we have uh, uh, offering the campus opportunities to all the graduating students. Um, as we have also mentioned that a very unique uh, program which Bits Pilani offers is the internship program for seven and a half months, which enables students to uh, have a practical knowledge and sort of uh, understanding of what, what, what the corporate world is. Uh, and that is basically, uh, you know, what the demand of the employers uh, in Dubai is. So when you have already, when you already have a seven and a half months experience, then you are more prone to get an opportunity rather than a student who is, uh, you know, a, it's, it's simply a fresher. So uh, now going forward, we have leading multinationals and local conglomerates uh, who participated in our campus recruitment every year uh, with a median salary of around 6,000 AED and highest being the 20,000 plus the benefits. Uh, the largest sector of, of the recruitment here uh, are the engineering and IT students and, and you know obviously because Dubai being a very um, uh, you know holistic market so we welcome and the recruiters welcome all the uh, you know students with, with all the, uh, uh, you know, trade and marketing and, and sales sort of position. Uh, now, moving forward, we have all the 
uh, you know, the big brands, if you name the, the, the company and we have all uh, the big brands under the umbrella of Bitspilani, uh, Honeywell, Emerson, uh, Schindler, Bosch, to name a few, uh, are the key recruiters and they are coming year on year to uh, recruit students from Bitspilani. Uh, we, as I think I've already mentioned, Professor Anand, I've already mentioned about the highest studies, uh, you know, the students are going abroad. So I think we'll be moving forward with. Uh, you can talk about the opportunity to go and do placements. Yes. So there is another thing. We are also offering students to go to India if uh, and around the GCC countries, uh, you know, which includes Kuwait, Bahrain, Oman. Uh, so we have all the doors open. Uh, we are associated with all the Indian uh, placement managers and whosoever is interested to pursue, uh, you know, uh, the job opportunities after the graduation, we have uh, the, uh, you know, placements in India as well. So let's move forward. Uh, I just wanted to add on the higher studies, 35% of our students decide to go for higher studies immediately after graduation. They apply to four or five universities and end up getting offers from most of them. Every year, Stanford University has at least two or three students of ours uh, whom they met. And the students who are interested in engineering studies, they go to US, UK, Germany, and many other countries and uh, interested in management many of our students have also gone to iims in india after completing the gmat under nri quota they get admission so several bitspilani dubai students are also admitted in the iims uh, in india i am ahmedabad i am bangalore calcutta etc uh, and other universities which i've just listed here many ivy league universities also admit our students year after year now coming to the extracurricular activities our uh, students are occupied throughout the year with several events and festivals uh, which happen. Uh, we have lots of clubs and groups on the campus, so I will just discuss that with you now. We have several events and festivals on our academic calendar. Uh, Jashan is a huge cultural fest which happens here, which is an inter-university cultural fest. Bit Sports Festival is extremely popular where more than 40 universities of UAE participate. We also have the Indian campuses of Bitspilani who participate in our sports festival. We have a lot of technological contests like Technofest, Ingenuity, etc. We have Sparks, Artex. Artex is an art festival. Recharge is a hostel day, ethnic day. All these happen throughout the calendar year. Coming to student clubs, these are student-led clubs and every student is free to join or start any club of their interest. So we have music, art, sports, dance and several other clubs, more than 20 clubs on the campus. Uh, leading sports personalities have graced our sports festival year after year. Uh, it has been a tradition with Bitspilani to invite a leading sports uh, person uh, to grace our festival and also play with our students during the event. So, uh, so personalities such as Saina Nehwal, Sania Mirza, Maradona and many others have raised our sports festival. We have also had uh, leading uh, personalities such as Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam when he was the president of India. He visited uh, Bitspilani Dubai campus during his visit to Dubai. We also had Mrs. Pratibha Sinha as the president of India when she visited Dubai, she visited uh, here. Uh, so many, uh, many leading personalities, distinguished personalities have visited Dubai campus. We also have student chapters of different professional societies on the campus, such as the IEEE, the ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, of Computing Machinery. In fact, we are the largest student chapter of IEEE in the entire MENA region, that is Middle East and uh, African region. And our students get an opportunity to participate in seminars, conferences, competitions, etc. by being a part of these professional societies. And we encourage all our students uh, to be a part of them. Our students have participated in several events, competitions I'm talking about, not only in UAE, but also internationally. Just listing a few for to, to share with you. We were winners at the International Aerial Robotics Competition, which was held in North Dakota, USA. And year after year, our students have been participating in this robotics competition. We were also ranked fifth all over the world in IARC, which was conducted at IIT Kanpur. I think this was about three to four years back. This is a formula racing car which has been designed by our students 
and this has gone for several competitions abroad to USA, Italy, Spain, etc. And this was under the society. These competitions were held under the ages of Society of Automobile Engineering, that's the SAE. This was the first all-terrain vehicle uh, which was built by our students and it went for an event um, uh, under the SAE Baja. So just a few achievements of our students which I shared with you, but I request you to kindly follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and also check our website regularly to be abreast with all our achievements. Uh, now coming to our admission modality, our admission uh, for Dubai campus is entirely based on the merit of the student in the grade 12 examination. So we go by your merit in the grade 12 examination only and overall aggregate is what we see for preparing the merit list and allotting the seats. So these are the several boards we accept for admissions. If you can see the first column, uh, we have CBSC, ISC, we accept the A-levels, the Cambridge, Edexcel, Pearson, etc. We have the IB board, then we accept all the state boards of India, uh, be it the Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, uh, the Tamil Nadu state board, Karnataka, or any other, Bihar, all these state boards are accepted by Bitspilani in Dubai. Uh, we take grade 12 marks into consideration only. We do not accept the grade 11 marks. Sometimes some boards uh, equate the 11 and 12 marks together and give out an aggregate, but Bitspilani Dubai only takes the grade 12 aggregate into consideration for allotment of admissions. Uh, for A-level students, we require a minimum grade of C, and A-level is absolutely essential. We do not accept, accept AS level. IB students, if you are in this webinar, I would like to tell you that we, uh, we accept only physics, chemistry, and maths at higher level for admission to Bitspilani, Dubai, with a minimum uh, grade average of 5 and above. The minimum subject requirements are physics, chemistry, and mathematics for all our programs. And we do accept physics, chemistry, and biology only for biotechnology program. So one can take biotechnology even with physics, chemistry, and mathematics, but students who do not have mathematics and only biology are also eligible to take up biotechnology program. The minimum overall aggregate required for admission is 60%, and we also look for an aggregate of 60% in your PCM subjects. That's the physics, chemistry, and maths aggregate should also be, must also be 60%. And no subject you must have secured below 50 marks. Now, these are for some important dates. Our admissions have already started. As you all know, the results of CBSE have come out very early this year. They were released on 2nd May. And so we have started our admission process early in view of this. So many of you have already applied. And those of you who have not applied, I urge you to apply immediately. You could right now upload your mark sheet, which you've got on the net. The internet mark sheet is acceptable. So our application process is extremely simple. You just need to fill up a two-sided application form and upload your grade 10 mark sheet, grade 12 mark sheet, and your passport copy. That's all we require at this stage. If you upload this with an application fee of 220 dirhams, your application will be processed immediately. The last date is 20th June as indicated in this table. But even before that, if you submit, you will get your offer early. We are giving early offers to meritorious students so whoever is interested can apply immediately and seek admission. Uh, we will be uh, having the last day to complete all your formalities for Dubai campus would be 4th of July, where you will pay up all your fees and submit your documents. Our academic year starts on 25th August, where there'll be an orientation for students and parents, all the new students and parents. 26th August, our classes will commence this academic year. Now for the fees. I've just shared the table with you, the fee structure. Whatever is indicated in yellow is just a one-time payment which you would pay at the beginning of the session, beginning of the four years, which is application fee at the time of application. And once your admission offer is given, you have to pay the admission fee, activity fee, and deposit, which is fully refunded back to you when you leave the institute. The recurring expenditure for you would be the tuition fee per semester, which is 22,500 dirhams. Each year has two semesters. Each year has two semesters, and the annual fee would work out to 22,500 into two, which is 45,000 dirhams per year. One dirham is equal to around 19 Indian rupees. 
Hostel fee per semester would be 15,000 dirhams, which is inclusive of food and all other facilities such as the gymnasium, the sports facilities, etc. So it's all inclusive, 15,000 per semester, which makes it into two 30,000 dirhams per year. We also charge the visa a facility fee of 750 per annum. The visa is provided by Bitspilani Dubai. So unlike US and other countries where you have to go and seek a visa in the respective consulates of your city or country, Dubai, it is slightly different. You don't have to worry about your visa. All you need to do is once you get your admission offer letter, you just send across the visa fee of 2,900 along with your passport copy and photographs. The only requirement is that your passport should have a seven month validity. So if you have this, you can apply, you can just send these documents and we will apply for your visa and we will send you the paper visa by email. All you need to do is just take a print out of that and carry it and come to Dubai on 25th August. Subsequently, you will be going through a small medical test after which the visa will be stamped on your passport, which will be a multiple entry visa and you could travel any number of times to any country you want to. It's an annual visa, it is renewable annually. So visa is not a problem and we would apply it for you and you will get a residence visa of UAE. Medical insurance is absolutely essential in this country and this would cover all your medical expenses um, conveniently. We also have a clinic on the campus, so any small ailments, it can be dealt in the campus itself. Now I would like to share this table which gives you a better understanding of how you would pay the fees. Uh, I think we'll go for the next table which has the Indian um, equivalent. What we have done here is, you, you can see the total, it shows the annual tuition fee, third column I'm talking about, of 45,000, which can be paid in four equal installments of 11,250 each. Dirhams, 11,250 each, which equates to about two lakh rupees, 2.13 to be exact, if I convert it at a conversion rate of 19 rupees. But today I think it's around 18.6, but we've done it at 19 here. And so basically you get to pay your annual tuition fee in four equal installments. The annual tuition fee in Indian rupees works out to about eight and a half lakhs, which you can pay in four equal installments uh, every three months. So you can see the months given in the second column where you will see August, November, Jan and April. Only the first installment during your admission you will have to pay before the July 4th, but the rest of the payments would continue like this. And the last column speaks about your hostel fee, which comes to about 5.7 lakhs annually, which is 30,000 dirhams, which you can pay in two installments at the beginning of each semester. That's 15,000 dirhams at the beginning of each semester, which equates to about 2.85 lakhs. Here, I would like to tell you that all students who have above 90% in the 12th grade can have a 25% concession on the hostel fee. So your 5.7 lakhs would come down by almost one and a half lakh rupees. It would just work out to 4.2 lakhs or 4.25 lakhs for you if you have an aggregate of 90% and above. So your hostel fee will drastically come down because most of the students based in India uh, find this expensive because the cost of living is slightly high in Dubai. But with this aggregate, you can manage to get a good concession on the hostel fee. Even a big sad score, those of you who are taking a big sad this month, if you score anything about 150 in BITSAC, which is very easy to achieve, you will be getting this hostel concession of 25%. Over and above this, we have several tuition fee scholarships which we would like to share with you. These are some of the very prominent ones. A student who has secured 95% and above in the grade 12 exam will be entitled to a 40% scholarship on the first semester tuition fee. And it will continue for subsequent semesters if you maintain a CGP of 9 on a scale of 10, 20% scholarship will continue, not 40%. 40% will be only for the first semester tuition fee, and you'll also get this 25% of the hostel fee. Similarly, if you have an aggregate of 90 to 95 in your grade 12, uh, you will be awarded a 25% scholarship on the first semester tuition fee, and second and subsequent semesters, you can get 20% scholarship, provided you maintain a CGP of 9 on a scale of 10. Again, 25% hostel fee applies to this category as well. Coming to students with 80 to 90%, you will be entitled to a 15% scholarship on the first semester tuition fee. Again, you could continue for second and subsequent semesters if you maintain a CGPA of nine on a scale of 10, 20% scholarship would continue. 
also we are giving to board toppers top position in the school board all the state board toppers also are eligible for this you will be getting a 50% scholarship on your first year tuition fee if you have achieved the top position in your respective board uh, we also have uh, scholarships based on the merit in bitsat uh based on your score in bitsat you could get 25% to 75% of the first semester uh, tuition fee and uh, subsequently you could take the other merit scholarship of 20% if you maintain a cgpa of 9 on 10 you can also get a 25% on hostel fee we also have uh, an, another scholarship based on pbisc so pbisc students who have attempted pbisc i would like to tell you that you will be getting a scholarship ranging from 25% to 75% for the entire first year so you could avail of that and also a 25% concession on the hostel fee we also have sibling concessions so two siblings studying concurrently the second sibling would get 25% on the tuition fee so these are some of the scholarships and you would get to see all of these on our in our prospectus and admission bulletin which is available on our website uh, so with this uh, i would like to just give you a Uh, uh small steps on how you could achieve your admission at bitspilani dubai just follow the simple instructions and i'm sure uh, things will be fast and our admission process is absolutely uh, student friendly you will have no issues and if you have any issues you could always write to us on admission at dubai.bits-pilani.ac.in this is our email id which we will also share with you towards the end of this presentation now we are open for question answers and me and my colleagues will be happy to address them for you um I would request you all to ask whatever doubts you have now. <laughs> 